Natalia Bonner. We have made it to day 100 in the stitch along. <laughs> I'm so excited. Brad's excited. We're all just so excited that we have made it to day 100. Congratulations to any of you that are still stitching along with us. We only have 265 more days to go. Just to let all of you know, though, if you do stitch along and stitch all 365 block designs, post them on Instagram using our hashtag you have 30 days after the stitch along ends to have that completed. Anybody that does that, we will give, do I have mine on? We are giving away one of these gorgeous, I know you can't see it close up, we'll post a link to it before, but one of these beautiful engraved necklaces that says love to quilt. Anybody that stitches all 365 designs, we are giving one of these too. So you have to have them posted within 30 days of the stitch along ending. Pretty awesome prize. I love my necklace. I never take it off because I love it so much, but just wanted to let you all know. One other exciting thing though, before I get to the design, because it is day 100, we wanted to do something extra special for all of you. 48 hours starting right now, we are giving all of you 25% off your total purchase on our website, peaceandquilt.com. So it's time to stock up on everything that you've been wanting to purchase. Make sure you use the discount code 100 days. So use the number 100 days. That's how you'll save 25% off your total purchase at peaceandquilt.com for 48 hours only. So if you're watching this video after the stitch along, you know, 48, after 48 hours, I'm sorry. Keep paying attention because there might be more of these in the future. Anyways, today I'm going to be stitching with the inside out machine quilting ruler. Great ruler. I've been having so much fun with this ruler. Perfect time to pick one up over on our website, peaceandquilt.com, using the discount code. All right, let's get stitching. I'll begin this design by stitching in the ditch around the outside of the block. But as I'm stitching, you'll notice here that I have gone through before I did that stitching and marked an increment one inch from each of the corners on all four sides. As I'm stitching in the ditch around the outside of the block, I am going to stitch a diagonal line from point to point on each of those corners. So essentially creating a snowball block with my machine quilting. Once I've completed that, I'm going to come back to about that top point, that first marked point on my block, and I'm going to be stitching some fun point to point curved lines. So from that upper left marked point, I'm going to use the inside curve on the inside out machine quilting ruler, and I'll stitch from that upper left side down to the opposite side of the block, a nice curved line. From that point, I'm going to switch rulers. Now you could do this using just the inside out machine quilting ruler. Uh, personally, I find it a little bit easier to work with both the inside out and the four in one ruler on a design like this. So you can see here that I've stitched point to point lines. I traveled along my previous stitch line and now I'll repeat that process stitching a second one of those melon shape curve, whatever you wanna call that design from the top side of the block down to the opposite side of the block. Once I've stitched that second one, then I'm going to travel across the top of the block and I'll repeat the same process, stitching from the top of the block down to that bottom marked point or stitched line. From there, I'll switch using the four in one ruler and I'm going to stitch back up to the top of the block to that same point. Now I'll stitch along my previous stitch line and repeat that process one more time, stitching a curved line down to the opposite bottom side of the block and then back up to that top point on the block. Spritz away those marked lines and I've got a beautiful design.
friends. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.